Hello, today we're going to have a quick look at some date functions. So you might have come across the now function before. That gives us the current date and time. There's also the today function that just gives us the current date. Now both of these have their particular idiosyncrasies. One thing you might want to be aware of is if you're going to use a function to test if something occurs on a certain date, then the now function will give you trouble. Because as you can see, the, the now function gives us time and date. Now let's just have a look at how these dates are formatted. I like to use a full date format, so the name of the day and the name of the month. It's more explicit, less room for confusion. And this time code. So we'll just quickly make a custom date and time format so we can see what's going on there. We'll copy that format onto that cell. So you can see that that now function, if I hit F9, that time will update. Every time you do a recalc on a spreadsheet, it will update that function. So what if we've got a function that tests if something is going to occur on a certain date? Just have a look at a couple of things here. I'll just set up something. That so there you have it. If we use the now function, that's going to include the time. That explains why it doesn't match. If we use the today function, today only produces a date in the result that will match. So you've got to be very aware of some of these tricks otherwise you'll have errors coming through in your spreadsheets. So use it to your advantage. Happy spreadsheeting!